the International Sea Keepers Society. Could you tell me what your mission is? Okay, so the International Sea Keepers Society, our mission is really to work with the private yachting community around the world and harness their power to support ocean conservation, research and education. So what would be the main pillars or the main areas that you're trying to focus on at the moment? Um, the, the, the strongest probably component of Sea Keepers is our Discovery Yacht Program. And there are four pillars within that. In that is science at sea, citizen science, education and community engagement. Education, it's growing so quickly for Sea Keepers. That's working with local schools and local communities and getting kids out on the water who perhaps never been on the water before. It's sharing with them the passion that we have for the ocean so they can be future ocean stewards. And then community engagement is where we get people out on the beaches, where we do cleanups, where we go along and speak at events. And mm -hmm. um, it's where we actually interact with local communities and find out what they need to know and share some of our knowledge with them. But Sea Keep is all about uh, collaboration. Mm -hmm. We are there to connect. Mm -hmm. So it's connect research groups around the world. Mm -hmm. It's to uh, connect um, academic communities, it's people who need access to the water. So yes, we work with other foundations, other non-profits and universities. Mm -hmm. And then we work then with the people who have the vessels. Now for us, it's a private yachting community, mm -hmm. so it's boats of all sizes. So yes, anything from an explorer yacht and a super yacht down to the small vessels that just plough in and out around the local coastline slopes. So we have 200 at the moment who are there ready for us to call on should we need them. And if we can find out what inspires those owners to support us, we will match them with a project that's going to, they're going to enjoy and they're going to get their hands wet. And we will involve them as much as they want to be involved with us. So the International Sea Keepers, you have a base in the United States. You have uh, one in Asia. Uh, you are based here in the UK. Anywhere else? Are you expanding? You've done some homework there, that's for sure. Headquarters is Miami, Florida. And we then have chapters. We have a chapter in Singapore for Asia. We are in New Zealand for the South Pacific. We're also in Bangladesh. And we are opening a new one in Mexico. Sea Keepers is not a, uh, an entity which survives by itself or operates by itself. We're very much into, let's work out how we can together work for the better of our planet and our ocean. Because it's one ocean, I think, to achieve some of the goals, which is a healthier ocean for the future of our planet and for our children. And the fact that everything is open source, you're helping each other out with your resources, with your contacts, uh, with the yachts, as you mentioned, is, is a brilliant idea. What is the most inspiring thing that you've witnessed over the years? I think what the most inspirational thing for us is when we get a reaction from a research group or conservationists, and they come to us and they say, you've helped us achieve something You've helped us gather the data we need to create impact. And if you hadn't done it, we'd be years out. That's what inspires me. So if you had one message to send to the Supiot community, what would it be? I would say never underestimate the power of what you can do. Come forward, let's have a chat, and perhaps we can do some amazing research on your boat. Brilliant answer. Thank you very much, Jill. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.